Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about, well, more game-related news, really, but still, a simulator-based, actually, but in a way, here is Monday. So, during the weekend, the world doesn't stop being stupid. So, eh, either way, let's go. This is from Stormbirds. Uh, Captain Sim, if you're not aware, is a... Uh, uh, a DLC add-on, extension, developer, whatever nomenclature that you are familiar with, but it's been pretty much the standard go-to system for flight simulators. Anyway, developer. And they are a Russian company. They, are, they also are notorious in their quality of their products, as in, sometimes they're a hit, but they are mostly a miss. They do have good-looking aircraft, but the simulation itself, the part of the simulation that they do, is mostly a mess. The problem starts is that um, with the MSFS, Microsoft Flight Simulator, recently released, the new iteration, uh, they didn't do quite a good job at it. But either way, here is the shenanigans. They are a bit notorious to the nonsensical bullshit. For instance, um, I years and years ago I purchased from them the 757, the CD version, because, well, DVD version, because back in those days, imagine that, you didn't download the product, you actually bought the box. <clears throat> and uh, to access deliveries and things like that, you actually had to access their website, which they did not provide unless you actually purchased directly from them. Eventually, people would eventually upload their textures and skins and liveries of the aircraft on you know, their websites, and that was fine, up to a point. They were, they are also notorious to overcharge for their crap they, and sell their airplanes in bits and pieces. For instance, uh, they sell their aircraft one version, then they overcharge you for the second version and the third version, which is small variations. For instance, the 757-200, then the 757-300. And they were all sold apart. The 757-200 and the cargo version, also the part. They are notorious for that, but let me go and read this. Flight Sim developer and Captain Sim, well known for a series of P3D aircraft prepare 3D, um, old, it's a simulator based on Flight Simulator from Lockheed Martin, and the, it's also based on Flight Simulator 10, or X, and Flight Simulator 2004, and 2002, and 98, and um, 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 95, uh, well, 96-ish, 95, but uh, either way. It's threatening illegal action against Flight Simulator, Flight Sim.2, over user created liveries for the new 777-200ER aircraft, Flight Sim.2, has become a key site for the Microsoft Flight Simulator community with thousands of users created liveries, mods, airports, and more. It's actually a good website, and you go there to download a few things for, uh, for MSFS. Due to the price, my copy has been provided me by a friendly, scurvy-infested dog. Hmm. Anyway, let's read the tweet. Due to the legal request by Captain Singh, we are very much ob likely obliged to remove all Boeing 777-200ER liveries from our site. We regret this very much, but unfortunately, neither we nor the livery creators can do anything about it. Below, we attach our press release in this matter. This is um, user-created liveries, as in, created by people like me, like you, like everybody else. They go on Photoshop, GIMP, or whatever, um, image creator, they go on and create a livery. But somehow, you cannot do or upload those anywhere else. Hmm. This is more shenanigans from Captain Sim. Hmm. But it doesn't stop right here. That I'll come back to that later. Let me go and cover this. Captain Sim is trying to, uh, to sue creators for publishing liveries. 
Over the months, Flight Sim.2 has become a well-known and trusted number one go-to source for Microsoft Flight Simulator add-ons and mods of any kind. Today, we are hosting more than 10,000 brilliant add-ons and liveries, which elevate the in-game experience of Microsoft Flight Simulator to an entirely new level. A few days ago, a third-party developer launched a new payware aircraft, Captain Sim's Boeing 777-200ER. As you probably already know, like with all other aircrafts, users and creators started to create paintings and liveries for the third-party aircraft, allowing other users and customers to improve their in-game experience by flying an airline carrier of their choice. However, yesterday we received a legal takedown request prohibiting us from hosting user-created liveries for the 777-200ER. Captain Sim points to their license terms and claims that they are rightful copyright holders of all liveries, despite being created by other users. To this end, the company refers to their, in our opinion, highly questionable license terms, which includes the following: Balagraph for all liveries for the. Triple seven, Captain Three must be published via AIDS only. No one is allowed to publish Triple Seven, Captain Three free liveries elsewhere. Well, paragraph nine: All liveries, all free liveries for Captain Sim products remain property of Captain Sim. Why do I sound like Indian? Well, I probably do not know how to pro how to do a Russian accent. All free liveries for Captain. I cannot do it. I probably need to listen to somebody doing it first for me to copy it. Anyway, that said, the company is claiming that all liveries created for the Captain Sim uh, Boeing 777 are property of Captain Sim and they withhold these from distribution at their own discretion. As much as we would love to continue hosting your liveries and admire the hard work creators have put in these, it seems that Captain Sim wants to avoid users publishing liveries for their products to any platform other than their own. In our opinion, this is definitely the wrong path to take. However, we legally have to investigate and probably follow the request as Captain Sim threatened us with further legal action if we do not take down our liveries. Unfortunately, we cannot rule out the possibility that we will not be allowed to host 777-200ER liveries in the future, and we will probably have to disable all uploads for this aircraft. We will, be, we will implement the necessary measures once the legal investigation is completed. We kindly ask you, for the moment, to not create any more libraries for this aircraft if you intend to upload them elsewhere than on their ACE platform. ACE platform is usually a program they develop, a, a launcher or something, that usually you get to configure the aircraft and download patches, it depends on the utility, it's pretty much... Uh, 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 what's the word? It's... Uh, I forgot the word. It's pretty much something that each developer of aircraft ends up developing and it clogs your desktop. <laughs> yes, yeah, no wonder I actually hate eggs. You know, Epic Games Store. Because I already have an experience of those launchers. Anyway. Flight Scene DAR 2 is used to friendly collaboration and good contact with third party devs. It is all the more unfortunate that a developer wants to limit the sharing of free content and claims unrestricted ownership of all user created contents. Yes, and this is the bullshit. Because Captain Scene is notoriously known. Oh shit, I hit the microphone arm. To do nonsensical bullshit like that. And it's not new. The, the, they actually have a disconnect with their community and things like that. But then again, most Russian developers are like that. Most, because there are still some that do not do those scummy tactics. For instance, I'm thinking right now the 777 Studios from IL2 Stormovic. They seem to know what the community wants and has a tendency to fulfill those wishes. I'm looking at you, Eagle Dynamics, which also hate the community as well. Anyway, look at this. Uh, this is the start of the. This is inside the Microsoft Flight Simulator forums. And you can see this is the picture, and the users are, in fact, complaining about the release. Now, this is a screenshot of the cockpit of the 777 released by Captain Sim. As you know, 777, do, they do share some commonalities with the 
747 uh, with the 767 and things like that. It's a common thing between Boeing, but what he does not share is the quantity of engines and uh, much less the name itself on the FMC, which is the computer that you can see. I probably shouldn't have clicked uh, here right now. If you zoom in, there's unfortunately this forum doesn't allow zooming in. You can see a 747-81. That's not the model of the 777. This indicates that the uh, the entire gauge, the entire um, programming between this, the, all the things that it does here and here, is in fact using the default aircraft, which shows, in fact, that they did only the art itself of the airplane and um, uh, and inserted those uh, uh, those gauges into the aircraft, and that's it. Usually, and like I said before, they usually suck at the physics of the aircraft. And this shows even more what I mean about it. Look, there is even more. Uh, it says model 7, uh, 747, look, more users. So I bought it and literally ported their prepared 3D, you know, Lockheed Martin 3D model, along with textures to MSFS. Nothing is made from ground up for MSFS. Biggest proof of this is that they didn't utilize the decal system textures that look bland from close up. The exterior model looks decent from afar, but breaks apart when you get closer. Low poly count through and through. Everything from the cockpit to tires are a direct port. I didn't get to test the systems as such, so I reserved my opinion on that. And there is more. I don't know about it, but the usage of 3, uh, 747 systems is enough not to care further about this product. I agree. Uh, and this is another product that was also released for Microsoft Flight Simulator that I, I recall seeing, and the shit was crap, and they actually charged you for it. Anyway, uh, let's see, there, there was another picture here, what is it? Not kidding, the new trailer all the time, it's lovely, I have no issues with the aircraft. Uh, let's see, where, where was it? What the fuck? Ah, here it is! Look, as um, better just click here. As you can see here, the triple seven is a two-engine aircraft. Why is it showing four engines? See, this is the stuff that we are that shows that really, really paints a bad picture for Captain Sim. And once again, as you can see here. 74781. See, this is not supposed to be the model of the aircraft portrayed here. And to make a point that this is not the cockpit of a 747, here you can see the throttle levers, the levers, uh, levers, levers, levers over here. They are, in fact, two, as you can see here and here. Look, two, they are not four for the four engines. As you can see, this is the picture of the 777. See, as you can see, two engines. And they are actually using for, as if it was a four. The gauges, the, the instruments, the instrument panel is using as if it was a four. Ooh. Let's see. So there are a lot of people actually, BCS has any type of integrity when it comes to delivering promises. Well, they never call them promises or for unforgettable reasons. Their only goal is to release something that is flash and get a bunch of initial sales. Exactly. And they are overly, they overcharge things. I remember back in the day, they actually even, even would charge you for downloading the product you bought from their website. I do not know if they do so today, but they used to back in the day. Mm. Ah, here's another thing. 767 development was going along nicely, as recalled, and the updates stopped for a while. And when asked about the GE and F model, if the answer was vague and not reliable, this is another thing they would do. They would actually show the separate models of the engines as well. <laughs> In the end, you'll be paying, what, $120 for an expansion of your product. 
which would cost even more than the simulator itself in the end. Let's say I, I recall seeing another screenshot, or am I getting old? And they are getting point there. Hmm. Eh, maybe I'm getting old. Yeah, I swear there was another picture, but eh. anyway, this is a lot of people complaining about Captain Sim. And if you want to read, just stop or go to the Stormbirds website. They have a link to the forum itself, and you can actually read it for you and take the judgment for you. And it's, but where? Why? Why was it flat? I don't do anything bad to happen to my PC since I don't have an anger because I don't believe in. Okay. Yeah, but remember. Yeah, the, the community, the flight simulator community, despite all its advances being far more into the future than the normal gaming community in regards, for instance, DLC, expansion packs, the excessive amount of launchers and things like that and modding. They are also pretty conservative in regards to uh, releases and computing on itself. For instance, they took a while to accept Steam. Yeah. You know, either way, let's go. I don't know why we got target and block that. See what it says. Oh yeah, this is PMDG. They create great aircrafts and things like that. The problem is, not only is the price, but sometimes they are very, very assholes as a company itself. That, what can you do? It's, uh, it's something that is pretty much the go-to system inside uh, Micros, uh, inside flight simulator in general, even X-Plane, DCS and things like that. They are pretty much the default system, the default thing. Anyway, I think that's about it that I want to cover about Captain Sim. I never actually liked them. There were a point in period out of time that, that I felt, okay, eh, maybe they are improving, but then they go and quickly go down in quality. Ah, here it is, the memes about the aircraft. <laughs> the... They added an extra, uh, extra two engines to the 777 as a meme. I wonder the full consumption of those aircrafts would be. They have got me pretty powerful and fast, but the fuel consumption must be terrifying. Either way, I think that's about it. I pretty much, I think I covered everything that needed to be covered. Um, it's, uh, it's a joke. Suffice to say, it's a joke, and it's, it's a sad thing to see things like this happening to the community that I love. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like this type of content, stay right here on youtube.com forward slash Chester, or if you like more spicy content, head to bitchute.com forward slash Chester, or minds.com forward slash Chester for that spicy content. And remember, fuck you, YouTube. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a very fucking good night.